Well, here I am at the uh, Dallas International Airport, and it is uh, 4.30. I'm here an hour early. I'm actually waiting for the uh, plane to arrive. Um, actually, uh, as you can see, I'm the only one. I'm the only one here, almost. I'm here. Uh, I'm an hour early, which is good. So I'm going to board the plane in just a second, and I should be arriving in Atlanta about 7.30. And then I'll be uh, renting a car with my GPS. And as I was telling Josie, uh, I had mine uh, put to um, use the scenic route. And that's why I hated GPSs because I couldn't figure out why they couldn't take me to the main highways. And come to find out, it was on scenic route. But I changed it to uh, the fastest route. Excuse me, I just got to get drinking a Coke here. And um, so I'm excited. I'm going to test it out in Atlanta. They say Atlanta is the worst traffic than Dallas because it is the hub of communication for all international flights. So um, we'll just see how that goes. Um, and it's supposed to be raining, so I'm blind as a bat, driving in the dark, trying to find the hotel. So we'll just see how that goes. And I'll take uh, keep you guys updated. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. I'm just waiting here. rent a car place. Uh, I just got to get in this car. It looks like a, a, a it looks like a Zuzu Rodeo, which is really nice. Very, very nice. So if you can see it, it looks kind of like this. So here I go. I've got my GPS and I'm uh, going to get on the road here. And as you can see, Avis here, they actually gave me the wrong, they gave us the wrong car they gave me the same car and some other guy the same car so I just went on ahead and let him have it and I got another one so I actually I lucked out all right I'll get my GPS going and here we well, here I am here's my trusted GPS I have to trust her this time I'm in Atlanta now so I'm uh, gonna trust her uh, to uh, travel here so um, here I am in my car I rent a car and she's telling me to, I'm just following her, so hopefully she'll take me. So far, she's been really good. She's taking me, you know, to where I need to go, my GPS. But as you can see... two miles, keep to the left, one, two, interstate 85 towards Atlanta. 85, you see there's 85. There's 85. Okay, I'm going to do what she tells me to do it. So here I am. And I'm driving. Hey! Here we go. Hopefully I don't have a wreck here. So, um... Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get to Atlanta here. Um, 85. It says I-85 to Atlanta. So I am going to do what she tells me to do. All right, we'll, we'll talk to you guys later.
Well, I made it uh, here in the parking lot at the Embassy Suite Hotel. And that GPS actually did a great job. It led me right to this place uh, without fail. And uh, I love it. So here I am, I'm getting my luggage out and I'm, I made it in safety. And uh, I'm now gonna go in and check in the Embassy Suite Hotel. And it did a fantastic job. And as you can see, I got a little rodeo. I don't even know what this is. But uh, I, I, uh, that GPS did a really good job. So, okay, I'm gonna go in there. The next uh, video you'll see will be of the room. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, I'm actually back. I actually walked over there to uh, the Embassy Suites Hotel. I walked up to the check room, the check in place, and she said that they were overbooked. They made a mistake in the system and they overbooked the hotel and they said that I need to find somewhere else to stay tonight and they apologize for the inconvenience and I'm like you gotta be kidding I, we, I booked this place you know I, I'm an out of town and I really don't know where to go so she said well let me see what I can do for you so she booked me she found a room I guess they're having some sort of training conventions or something and there was no rooms anywhere in the hotel anymore so she got me a place across the street uh, over there uh, I have to go across the street it's called Hyatt place so that's where I'm gonna be staying tonight and they for the inconvenience they're gonna pay for my room tonight for free so it's not gonna go on my credit card and the company will be happy about that and then tomorrow night I'll be back over here so we'll just see how it goes man it, it, then my car was given <laughs> It's, so many things have been happening today. Thank you, Sandra, for your prayers because your works, because everything went smoothly. Even though there are a bunch of mishaps, everything is going smoothly. And thank you for your prayers. Talk to you guys later. Well, here I am at the Hyatt Place. I'm gonna just gonna stay here one night and then go back to the Embassy Suite. But as you can see, uh, I'm going to my room. It's room 212. So let me see where it's at here. Room 12, yeah, this is it right here, room 212. So here it is, so there. This is a little bit lower, lower class, I believe, because the embassy suite is a lot better. But anyway, let me just open up my key here. It's called the Hyatt Place. And I think you put it in there like this. Let's see here. Here. Well, it doesn't even open. There it goes. All right. And I can already, I can already smell, guys. This is a messed up uh, smoking room. Oh my gosh, it's reeks of smoke in here oh boy how in the world I mean it's a nice place and everything it's two double beds you know and it's got this own little couch here and then it's got this little vanity you know and everything around here it's own little desk but um, man it is a smoker's room because I can smell the smoke and Oh well, it's only one night, and it's already 10:30, going on 11, and see, and then I, I just need to, I need to hurry up and uh, uh, is that right? 9:41? Maybe it's just 9:41. Well, let me, if that's the case, and maybe I need to go down there and get another room, but it's it's only for one night, so. Anyway, uh, I'll live with it. And then tomorrow I'll go back to the embassy suite. All right, man, what the perils of Carlos, the adventures of Carlos. Here we go. All right, I'll, and I'm going to go ahead and text Sandra because I told her I would text her and let her know that everything's fine. All right, I'm gonna, I need to go here and I'll tell Sandra, oh, we see a bolter doors. And they've got a bolt right here, right there. You bolt them. And that way people don't come in and then you got a peephole right here you know you can just do this number that way people won't be peeking in there and um 
All right, man, this is a big old room. All right, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, the next will be in the daylight and I'll be going to the office. All right, bye. <laughs> Well, here I am. Uh, <clears throat> I'm watching TV now in my room. Oh, I'm just getting ready for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be in the office and I am going to be uh, fixing everybody's computers. I can't really do it during the daytime because <clears throat> everybody's B has to be productive. So I'm going to have them give me their passwords and it's going to be an all-nighter basically every day until... You know, I have to do memory upgrades, I've got to do system board upgrades, I've got to do hard drive upgrades, i got to replace new computers, i got to ship a server out. Uh, there's a lot of, of work involved. So, I've got three days, and uh, as you can see, I'm just watching TV, just taking it easy over there. So, um, I, I, I hate traveling, and I'm just going to, I was told uh, my co-workers that I have to just use reverse psychology on my boss and just say, hey, I got my sunshades on, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm having a good time, and can't wait, and blah, 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 and then that way he goes, you're not going to travel anymore. So, we'll just see. But that GPS was really good. Uh, it literally, it took me um, straight here without any problem. So, um, I'm about to go to bed now and wake up at 7 in the morning. They have free continental breakfast downstairs. And then after this, I'm going to, after this hotel, I'm going to spend the night at the MNC suite tomorrow because they overbooked over there. So, um, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to get back to the Tsami, Japan. I'm watching a very good documentary about the Tsami in Japan and, and all that. And it's really interesting. But, um, yeah, look at all that. Alright, talk to you guys later. Well, here I am at the Hyatt place. This is where I stayed. Um, if you can see Atlanta, a little bit of Atlanta. Um, I actually had to stay at this hotel here last night because my other hotel was booked. Uh, they double booked my other one, so I stayed the night at this one. So now I'm actually going to go to the office now. So I uh, shouldn't be far from here, but I'll let you know. And I've got my uh, rental car here, as you can see. Um, they gave me uh, this little car here. I don't even know what it's called. Um, but uh, very nice, drives very nice. But um, uh, this is called the Hyatt Place. Uh, it was very noisy last night because as you can see right there this van here uh, This big old bus. It was trailways Trailways and it was a bunch of kids and they're running left and right, you know being jokesters as they usually are And I couldn't even sleep last night. There's so many pounding the doors running down the hallways giggling and laughing and oh man until like one or two in the morning so if I got bags under my eyes it's because those kids were just all over the, the place making so much noise. Alright, here we go. It's time to go to work. Talk to you guys later. Server room. Um, here I am at the Atlanta server room. Uh, as you can see behind me, this is the uh, stuff I have to deal with. Um, these are all the servers right here. As you can see, uh, they've got uh, all these servers right in here. And as you can see in the back, it's a mess. Look, it looks like a little jungle back here. Literally. Um, all these cords and cables and it's like one big mess. So, literally that's going to be another project because this entire system has to come down. And then we have to literally um, Velcro all those uh, cables together so they can be nice and neat. Uh, but my job today basically is these servers right here down at the bottom. Uh, down that one and that one. I've got to ship back to Melbourne. And as you can see, all these at the very top, they're sitting right on top of each other. They're stacked up. So I literally had to power off all these so that I can take those out. And they're not racked. What I mean by racked is they're, they're not like this, which makes it really nice. 
So I'm gonna, I, I got what, my rack here. I got this box and I'm gonna actually rack that up and, and kind of rack them up so that they can actually um, have a little bit uh, more neater space. And then all this is like a big old octopus. So I'm, I'm gonna take a picture before and after so that you guys can see my work here. So uh, here I am. Uh, and I'll, it's going to be on all nighter tonight, so <sighs> hopefully I'll be out of here by nine. Okay, talk to you guys later. Okay, here it is. I just actually unracked that server there. I actually put it on this dolly here. Let's go ahead and bring it out. Okay, it looks like uh, Eric Wargo has a problem, and she's in his, this is his office, and they're all gone for the day. So now I'm left to work with our computers, and he sits here, and he has a beautiful view, as you can see, here in Atlanta, over here looking over the lake. So he's got a beautiful view, and he's having problems with Outlook. Uh, delivering mail, not syncing up mail, a bunch of slowness issues, so I'm gonna fix it for him. I got like a good 15 more people to do, so I'm gonna try to get out of here by at least 12 o'clock so I can go home, sleep, come back at 5 and start all over again. So this is what my day is. Here we are, and uh, let me go ahead and sign on as him. But um, he left me his password, and I got my caffeine here. All right, we'll keep you guys posted. Talk to you guys later. Bye -bye. See, this is the embassy suite. You see, it is it is a way different. It is uh, actual a major difference. Um, as you can see, this one's the one that I should have been actually uh, uh, scheduled to to be booked, and they overbooked it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the hotel that I'm supposed to be in. My room is 211. So let's go ahead and find my room. And it's been a long, long day as I've been, been videotaping myself here. So I'm actually going to find um, room 211. Okay. It's over here. Um, wow, it's this room right here, I believe. See here, two eleven, two eleven. Yeah, the lady said that uh, she they felt really bad because they had to move me, and then she said that they they had something in my room. She said we have something for your room for the inconvenience. So I'm like, wow. So see how you put this card in. I think you put it like this. Mm -hmm. See here what they what is that? Is that we have something in your room for the inconvenience. What is what is in here? Two eleven. Uh I don't see anything in my room. Well, let me see if it's on my bed. Um actually turn this light. seeing anything that lady said there's something in your room she said um, we want to make sure you got it um, what what is in my room is it these cheese things I don't think it is um, Well, let me call downstairs because she's definitely, she said, 
There's something in your room. We want to make sure you got it. There's something in your room. She said that like three times. So I am not sure what she's referring to. And also, am I in the right room? I don't want to be somebody else's room. It's the last thing. But, um... Let's see here. Let's find out. Well, I just called room service and I asked them, you know, I came in here. I don't see anything in my room. They said it's in the refrigerator. And I looked and look what they gave me. Um, cheese and crackers, grapes and and that. So they said that for the inconvenience of going to another hotel. But man, that is what I call customer service. They, they really know how to give customer service. And uh, I'm going to probably give them really good ratings once I'm done. But um, as you can see, it's a little bit upper upper class um, than the other one. Um, than the other one was. Turn on the lights here. Um, you see here, it's got here's the room right here, and then you know it's got its own living room, the TV. So it's a little bit more upper class than the other one. And this one smells fantastic. I mean, it smells like soap. And um, it doesn't smell like, you know, like um, smoke like the other place. But um, as you can see there, and here's the shower, pebble, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, marble and everything. And as you can see, I'm just beat. Well, guys, I'm here in the office and it's late and everybody actually has gone home. But this is my work area. As you can see, it's a mess. I've got all my tools out here. I got my tool bag out and um, got my things going. I, I'm working at three computers right now um, at, at the one point at the same time. Um, let me just show you a little the interest, entrance here. Here's the door and then here it is, Crump, Crump Atlanta, I guess. Um, there it is, and this is the entryway. And right now, is, if you can actually see me right now, I'm actually working on um, this guy here, Carl. i got him working here. Um, almost done with him. I got him a driver. His printer didn't work. I fixed it. And then right now, Jordan here, his problem was he needed XL20. 10 and then he had a bunch of driver issues then he uses this computer over here for the internet and as you can see how badly it was and uh, that needed some more memory I upgraded the memory I put a new hard drive in it and then this one here I put more memory in it to give him up and going so he's full speed ahead right now I'm just waiting for that to finish and then over here uh, Eric here I've got him he had his Outlook issues, he was not receiving emails, his reminder kept popping up a hundred times, he was having problems with his printer. Um, basically, uh, I have uh, ran registry fixes and uh, uh, Windows updates and um, gave him more memory as well and uh, repaired his office. So right now it's running a defrag on here and he had many other issues with this iPad. I can't even mention it. But more over here. And of course we had Donna here and she's gone for the day but she had many problems with her Citrix connections. Got it. And then I'm over here I'm right now working on this scanner here. Um, downloading the software to here to get it connected here. I've got this big scanner here connected to this computer and I've got to give her a spare so I, I want to, uh, her printer's here, I want to leave her at least two, two working computers that are really good. So, um, and she really doesn't have a whole lot. She only has these monitors here, so I'm going to have to scrounge up some, some, um, um, some PCs so that I can have them here in case something breaks down. But I just want to let you know here at the server room, for their office here, you can see I left it nice and clean. I put racks on here and I also labeled everything, you know, like Atlanta 410, the 
external hard drive. This is the name of the server. And I put it this so that people will not mess up KVM switch. Press the appropriate server button and press the scroll key. You know, here's the servers right here. So that we can walk through these users when we call them. Here's the switches for every computer is connected to the network. And then of course we've got our servers down here and this is our router right here. And then in the back, it's a little bit better. It doesn't look like an octopus as much, but it's a little bit better. It's a bunch of power cords back there, but it is what it is. And I, I only can do so much because I'm here just these three days and it's um, Thursday. And it's going on seven o'clock, so and it's just so much to do that I literally need a good three people here. So hopefully I'll finish by ten o'clock tonight. And, um, here it is, and here's the server room, and then I'm been, I was sitting right there, so I'll try to get better.